All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, Say, my Lord has guided me to a straight path, an upright religion, the faith of Abraham, a man of pure faith. He was not a polytheist. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, and that our master Prophet Muhammad is his valerie and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path till the day of judgment. Civilized nations and developed countries always make general etiquettes a way of life, not just a secondary matter or behavior. The general etiquettes are a part and parcel of human values and morals. This goes in line with the essence of our religion, which stipulates rules that govern man's relationship with his Lord and his relationship to the whole universe. Among these etiquettes is cleanliness. Islam pays much attention to the purity of body, dress, and place. The Almighty Allah says, You who believe, when you are about to pray, wash your faces and your hands up to the elbows. Wipe your heads, wash your feet up to the ankles, and if required, wash your whole body. If any of you is sick or on a journey or has just relieved himself or had intimate contact with a woman and can find no water, then make some clean sand and wipe your face and hands with it. Allah does not wish to place any burden on you. He only wishes to cleanse you and perfect his blessing on you so that you may be thankful. The Almighty Allah also says, purify your garments. The Prophet peace be upon him said, when one of you wakes up from his sleep, he must not put his hand in a utensil of water until he washed it three times. The Prophet peace be upon him also said, avoid things which provoke cursing. The companions said, messenger of Allah, what are those things which provoke cursing? He said, easing on thoroughfares or under the shades where people take shelter and rest. Islam has linked between physical and moral cleanliness, making physical cleanliness a key to moral one. If a person keeps his body clean, this is a reason for the forgiveness of his sins. The Prophet peace be upon him said, when a Muslim or a believer washes his face in the course of wudu, Every sin which he has committed with his eyes will be washed away from his face with water. When he washes his hands, every sin which he committed by his hands will be effaced from his hands with the water. And when he washes his feet, every sin which his feet committed will be washed away with the water until he finally emerged cleansed of all his sins. Islam pays attention to personal cleanliness. It pays attention to the public cleanliness. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, clean your yards. Yards here covers houses, schools, factories, forums, and public parks. It also expands to include roads, squares, etc. These places must be kept clean. Moreover, one has to participate in cleaning them. Among these etiquettes is respecting regulations. Each society must have certain rules and regulations that control the behavior of its members, preserve one's rights, and oblige each other to perform his duties. This will bring about the public interest that benefits the whole society. Pondering over the reality of the developed countries, one realizes that they, they reach this stage with their commitment to regulations and to the enforcement of law. This embodies respecting the rights of others, the principle of rights versus duties, and that man treats people in the same way he loves to be treated. This is also a sign of the perfection of faith. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, every one of you is guardian, and every one of you is responsible for his words. A ruler is a guardian and is responsible for his subjects. A man is a guardian of his family and responsible for them. 
A wife is a guardian of her husband's house and she's responsible for it. A servant is a guardian of his matters of his master's property and is responsible for that. Thus, by respecting laws, justice will prevail, love and fraternity will spread, and the whole society will enjoy safety and stability. Caring for the common sense requires that one be simple in his clothes, food, drink, and to avoid extra spending. Allah says, children of Adam, dress well wherever you are at worship, and eat and drink as we have permitted. But do not be extravagant. Allah does not like extravagant people. Also, among these etiquettes is the fulfillment of covenants. The Almighty Allah says, you who believe, fulfill your obligations. Also, the common sense must be respected in terms of way of moving, clothing, and the general appearance. Jabir ibn Abdullah narrated that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, <coughs> forbade that a man raises one of his feet atop of the other while, while he is reclining on his back. The Prophet, peace be upon him, also said, when the lace of one of the shoes of any one of you is cut off, he should not walk with the other until he got the lace prepared, repaired. This means that one's shoes, when one's shoes are cut off and it is not suitable for walking, one should not walk with one barefoot as it is against the common sense. Part of this is that person must not make a voice or an action that people abhor. Abdullah ibn Omar, may Allah be pleased with him, is reported to have said, a man belched in the presence of the Prophet, peace be upon him. <clears throat> so he said, <clears throat> restrain your belching from us, for indeed those who are filled most in the world will be the hungriest on the Day of Judgment. In this connection, we lay emphasis on the prohibition of hurting people through drinking alcohols, which causes the smell of their mouths and clothes to be, bad, to be bad. In addition, one should be keen on the point that all his actions and saying must be compatible with the common sense. Allah the Almighty says, indeed, the hearing, the sight, and the heart, about all those one, be, one will be questioned. This list also includes respecting one's privacy and not to interfere in matters that are not of concern to him. In this regard, Allah Most High says, and do not pursue that of which you have no knowledge. Indeed, the hearing, the sight, and the heart about all those one will be questioned. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, a sign of man's good observance of Islam his piety is to keep away from that which does not concern him. With that said, I ask Allah for forgiveness for me and for you. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon our Prophet Muhammad, his family companions, and those who follow his path till the day of judgment. Muslim brothers, modesty is one of the most important pillars of the code of ethics that contribute greatly, greatly to promoting society. It is a sublime Islamic moral that prevents man from doing anything he might be blamed for. It also keeps man from doing an ugly or bad act. Prophet Muhammad tells us that haya is one of the ethics laid down in all the heavenly revealed religions. As the Prophet, peace be upon him, clearly states, one of the things people have learned from the words of the earliest prophecies is, if you don't feel any shame, do whatever you like. Also, Prophet, peace be upon him, passed by a man of the Ansar when he was given his brother a warning against modesty. The apostle of Allah said, Leave him alone, for modesty is a part of faith. <clears throat> Gallantry is 
also one of the most fundamental pillars of the code of ethics, as it plays a big role in advancing society. It is a term that includes all the meanings of manhood, carrying thereby the characteristics of good qualities, good ethics, doing good to people, preventing one's self from sins, protecting the tongue from the bad and foul speech, and keeping away from all what might be might lead to apology. As far as gallantry with people is concerned, it is realized through helping them, caring about their interests and to love and to love for them what we love for ourselves. Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said, a Muslim is a Muslim's brother. He does not wrong him or abandon him. If anyone cares for his brother's needs, Allah will care for his needs. If anyone removes a Muslim's anxiety, Allah will remove from him on account of it one of the anxieties of the day of resurrection. In truth, Islam approves a set of most sublime code of ethics that if adhered to, nations will achieve civilization and progress, since this is actually the unchangeable way of Allah, which is why we should be keen on adhering to these ethics and applying them to attain happiness in both this world and the hereafter. O oh Allah, guide us to what achieves our benefit in this world and the hereafter. Guide us to what causes the benefit of our country. Protect Egypt, its people, its army, and its police.